Hey, great morning. Come on, I'm going to wait on Facebook to build me an audience. You guys, come on in. Come on in. Um, I'm down here in Texas right now. I wanted to uh, just come in and bless somebody before I go about my day today. Come on in. Begin to get tagged and share. How are you? Great people of God, begin to get tag and share. Begin to get tag and share. Come on in. I know it's Friday morning. Some of you are in a great mood because today is payday. I know it's Friday morning. Some of you are like me and just in a great mood because you woke up with the, the breath in your body. Good morning, people of God. Come on, very quickly, very quickly. Begin to get tag and share. Begin to get tag and share. Tag people of God, five people you care about, five people you love, five people that you want to motivate quickly. Come on, come on. Good morning, great people of God. I woke up in a great mood this morning. I said to my husband, you know, I, I, I God has been moving in my life. And speaking to me, I've been studying so much. I've been in the presence of God, people of God, and I wanted to come and bless somebody with this message. I was going to go la uh, live last night, but we got out of church late. So come on, begin to get tagged and share. I don't know who this is for, but I believe people of God that you are about to get the answer. Come on somebody to the very thing you've been praying for. So very quickly, people of God, I want you to tag 10 people today. I know that's a bit much. I know you say evangelist, doctor, woke up and I just woke up I got cold in my eyes and I ain't got no business being on Facebook before brushing my teeth but I'm on here and the Lord must have a word for me people of God so 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 you want me to tag 10 people I do and I do I want you to tag 10 people because watch this that's the first seed you're putting in the ground on today so come on I just need somebody who don't mind helping me tell the devil on today listen you play with me enough I, I'm on the battlefield ready for war on this Friday morning so begin to get there tag and share very quickly come on people of God I'm going to invite somebody to this live too. I don't want to tell you to do something I didn't do myself. So if I'm looking down for a moment, it's because I'm inviting some others uh, to this live very quickly. People of God, begin to get shared, begin to get tagged. Oh, I feel God this morning. I'm excited. Watch this for somebody whose life is about to change just because they are tuning in right now. I'm excited for that person. Watch this, that after this live, they're about to get off and shift the whole atmosphere of their household. I'm excited for that person, people of God, who, who who's going to decide to just fight a little bit more because they are on this live. The Bible says that uh, where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst, people of God. So the only way we can come in agreement is if you're believing the words that are coming out of my mouth. Do you get what I'm saying? You come in agreement with me, people of God. So come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Very quickly. I ain't going to play with the devil this morning. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know some of you haven't had your, your bacon or your steak and your eggs yet this morning, but let me give you a meal to fill you up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, people of God. Push. Come on, come on. It's something about when we bombard heaven on one accord together. It's something about people of God when we when we press that the enemy get upset. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Dr. Shakir McFadden. Some say evangelist Shakir McFadden. Baby, you can just call me Shakir McFadden because I don't care nothing about the title. God gave it to me, but welcome. You are on a page, baby, where you're going to get realness. You're going to get transparency. You're going to get the word. You're going to be uplifted. You're going to be inspired. You're going to be motivated on today, people of God. God, listen, baby, it's so cold in, in Texas. I'm dressed up like a librarian. You get me? This ain't for us Florida hood people. Do you get me? Baby, I'm telling you, I'm so cold sitting in this car. I got the heat on and I'm still freezing. But listen, I got to step outside to, to bring the word. So listen, people of God, if you are just now tuning in, baby, let me tell you something. I can't wait these people give me my porcelain veneers. These goals have been out almost a week and I'm still struggling with these temporary teeth. So if y'all see me grabbing my mouth or you see me stopping to swallow, you know, my saliva. Baby, I'm still getting used to using them. But listen, if you are just now tuning in, <clears throat> great morning, people of God. First of all, let me say 
thank you and you made it, baby. You woke up this morning. I don't care what your situation is. I don't care what you're going through. You made it because you opened your eyes, which means God still have time to do it. Somebody didn't wake up last night. So if you are just now tuning in, people of God, uh, bless the name of everybody who are just now tuning in. Listen to the number of people to tag today. Watch this is 10. Before you jump in, you got to get shared. You got to tag 10 people because we want to be a ble blessing so we can get blessed. So listen, people of God, today's message, if you are just now tuning in, is the delay has been detoured. Oh, my, 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 my. The delay has been detoured. Today's message is the delay, baby. It's been detoured. I want somebody very quickly to just comment below. Satan, turn it loose. Satan, turn it loose. The delay has been detoured. You guys know, watch this, that I do not like to bring a live Unless I know that you're getting knowledge, wisdom, and clarity and understanding of what I'm getting ready to speak about. The delay has been detoured. This message ain't for everybody. It's for some people on today that need Satan to turn some things loose. It's for some people on today that still believe in God and that thing has not happened yet. It's for some people on today that need Satan to release the very thing they have been praying for. So quickly, people of God, I need you to comment below. Satan, turn it loose. See, the thing about God is, or the thing about problems, or the thing about what we're going through is, you may be going through it in a different way than I'm going through it. But the thing about it, people, is we serve the same uh, God. Watch this. So your itch may be different from my itch, but I can promise you that we serve a big God. And by this end of this message, I'm believing, come on, that things are about to change. Today's message is the delay has been detoured. Come on, somebody. Some of you are saying, uh, God, I can't wait to. It's my moment to shine. It's my day. It's my minute. It's it's my hour. It's, it's my breath breakthrough. I can't wait. Come on, people of God, until things begin to get moving for me because I've been in delay mode. God, it, it seems like you moving a little slow. Have you ever been in that place where you like God? Are you dragging your feet and your hands when you're making your way to my house? It seems like you moving a little slow. Maybe God, are you are you backed up in traffic? Is there an, an accident? Come on, somebody on the interstate or the highway, you coming down on the way to my house because let it's been seeming like you moving a little slow. I'm still believing you for some things that have not happened yet. Have you felt like that? Oh, I just need some people this morning. Come on, people of God who don't mind being honest. I don't care if you're a Christian and been saved since you came out your mother's womb. I don't care if you wear your big church hats, baby. I don't care if you're singing in the choir. I don't care if you're ushering. I don't care if you're preaching behind a pulpit like me. But let me tell you something, baby. We've all felt like we've been delayed at some point. So if you are just now tuning in, today's message is the delay. It has has been detoured. Come on, somebody. Watch this. Some of you people of God have already been picking out your wedding dress. You knew since you was 15, 16 years old, you wanted to be married with your children, the little dog in the picket fence, but it seems like it just hasn't happened yet. Come on, somebody. You are already picking out wedding colors, and it seems like that just, that thing just not happening yet. You already know who's going to be a bridesmaid, and you even know who's going to be the groom. Come on. Can I talk about it? Watch this. But that thing, it just hasn't happened yet. You've been in this relationship. Excuse me, people of God, 15, 16 years and it still haven't happened yet. There's other people in your family who only been together a year and a half and they already married and doing good. I'm talking, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I step on some people's toes today? Can I get in some of you business? Can I give you clarity to the very thing you've been praying for? I'm talking to some people, watch this, who feel like that thing has been delayed. Somebody ought to comment below, no more delays. 
If you are just now tuning in, the message is the delay has been detoured. Come on, somebody. It seems like it, it was going to work out. You've been told time and time again that the marriage was going to happen. But that thing, it, it just hasn't happened yet today. We're talking about delayers and still believing God at the same time. Some of you have been checking the mailbox just because some of you have been, come on, stepping out on faith and putting your ATM card in the ATM. Come on, seeing the same thing overdrawn day by day, but you stepping out on a prayer in a wing, hoping that God do something unexpected and it just have not happened yet. You, you, you waiting on it. Come on, checking your emails for that approval. Whether it's money, whether it's a case, whether it is, you know, unemployment, whether it's SBA, whether it's, come on, could I keep it real with you? Your food stamps being restored. You've been waiting for God to do something, but it's seeming like, come on, could I talk about it? The delay has been just stuck there. It seems like God is moving for everybody else on the block but you. It seems like the people to the right of you in your neighborhood being blessed. The people to the left of you in, the, in your neighborhood being blessed. But for some reason, God just still hasn't made it to your house yet. Some of you might not know what delay means. So let me give you the definition of it. Delay means something that's late or slow for someone. Delay means something that is late or moving slowly for someone. So maybe now that you got the definition, baby, you can relate and understand why me and a couple of people on this live right now are jumping and shouting for joy. Why we need this word, baby, because there's been a hold up on some things we've been praying for. You ought to come in below Satan, turn it loose, Satan, turn it loose, Satan, turn it loose, turn loose the very thing that has almost broke me. Turn loose the very thing that I've been praying for. Turn loose the very thing that has been prophesied to me. Who am I speaking to? You've been having prophecy after prophecy over your life and you just ain't seen the hand of God yet. The delay has been detoured. Oh, I just want to decree that before you go on with your Friday morning, that the delay, it has been detoured. The definition of detour is a route that is taking to avoid something. Baby, yeah, it's a route that is taken to avoid something. Some of you watch this. Uh, when you put something in your GPS and you're trying to get there, the GPS will give you alternative routes so you don't get stuck in traffic. The GPS will give you another way out so you don't be stuck behind that broke down car. I'm going to say it again for the ones in the back who missed it, baby. Your delay is being detoured. That very thing that you've been praying for, that that very thing, come on, somebody, that you've been believing God for, come on, that very thing, come on, somebody, that you're looking up to the, the hill for that very thing that you're believing in. And everybody else in your family, thank you, crazy for believing in it. It's been delayed, but God said it's being detoured now. Somebody ought to comment below. It's my time to shine. It's, it's my time to shine. It's my time to shine in the midst of the delay. He's giving you a detour in the midst of the pile up. He's giving you a detour in the midst of believing God for the unbelievable. He's giving you a detour. Once again, say Satan, turn it loose. Whatever your it may be, whatever your it may be. Oh, come on. I'm in agreement with you. Whatever your it may be, Satan, turn it loose. Some of you have been delayed in the spiritual realm for many different reasons. Many different reasons. Have you ever been in a place in your life, people of God, and it seems like it's one thing after another. It seems like it's one thing after another. It seems like the enemy has been stepping on your neck. It seems like the devil hates you so much. He got your picture hanging up in hell like, I got to take her out because she's the glue to the family. I got to take him out because he's the one providing. I got to take her out because she's the one uplifting and encouraging everybody else. I got to take him out because he's the only one I can de that people can depend on. I got to remove them so because you're the go-to person because you're the first responder of your family because you're the one who make it happen for everybody else it seems like the devil been on your neck man if you are just now tuning in the message today is the delay it has been detoured 
Some of you, there's been a hold up in your relationship. Things ain't been right. You sleeping in separate rooms. The kids seeing you arguing and cussing each other out. And then when you get mad with him, could I keep it real with you? You cussing it out and, and, and taking it out on the kids. Could I stop for a moment and just keep it real with you? Your relationship ain't been right. Watch this. He cheating. So you saying you want to play these games. I'm going to play them too. And you laying up with somebody else instead of believing and working it out. You're praying for God to fix it. But you making ignorant decisions in the background. Oh, I just dare somebody to be honest for a second and say, I've made some ignorant decisions. You're believing God to fix the relationship. Come on, somebody. But you're making some ignorant feelings. Uh, I'm sorry, ignorant decisions at the same time. Why? Because you all in your feelings. You're making permanent decisions out of temporary emotions. So there's been a holdup in your relationship. I'm talking about the relationships where y'all love each other but can't stand each other. I'm talking about those relationships where y'all walk around, you, you, you know you love them because you got so much time invested in them and y'all walk around the house not even speaking to each other. I'm talking about those relationships where you know, uh, God, I'm praying for you to fix it, but I hate his guts. You, you feel like you're sleeping with the enemy. Have you ever been in that place? Have you ever been in that place? Have you ever been in that place? Satan, turn it loose. I decree that on this Friday morning that every delay, every holdup, and every relationship that is on this live is being detoured. It's being rerouted for the better. God has given another way of escape so he can work it out. I, I decree, oh God, could I have some bold people right now who don't mind commenting, God, fix it. Come on, somebody. I, that's the place I was in. Upset. Angry with the world. Taking it out on my children. Don't want to get up and do nothing for myself because my marriage wasn't working out at the moment. I dare you to say, God, fix it. There's some people I know, they, they want their relationships and they want their marriages, but they too busy trying to put on for the Joneses. They too busy listening to their friends that saying, God ain't going to fix that thing. Nah, baby, if you telling me to leave my man, baby, you better leave yours too. Oh, could I take a moment and keep it real? Anybody who tell you, I never tell my friends to leave, amen. I might say, y'all need a break and let God work it out because sometimes, watch this, we can put our hands in it instead of allowing God to do it. But I ain't finna tell you to leave your man. You got to watch who you getting advice from. How y'all getting advice from people who can't even keep a relationship? I be confused. I don't know how I'm getting detoured for a minute, but let me install that to you. Them same ones telling you to leave they, your man. Because he doing you wrong. They putting up with all kind of crap back home too. How you taking advice for somebody who can't even keep a man? You ought to comment below, baby. You can't even keep a man. What was I thinking? You can't even keep your man. You can't even keep one man. You can't even keep a man. What was I thinking? What was I? You ought to comment below. What was I thinking? Lord, forgive me. I, I wasn't in my right mind when I took her advice. God, but can you fix it? What was I thinking? The message is that the, the, the delay has been detoured and some of us say there's been a hold up in our finances, in our relationship, in our health, in our, in our mindset, in our peace, in our joy, <coughs> excuse me, and, and different things. And God is saying today, people of God, the delay is being detoured. The definition of delay is something that's moving slowly, something that's moving at a slower pace. The definition for detour is a, is a reroute, another way of escape, a, another way out. I am here to tell you that God is still doing it. God is doing that very thing. There's, there's been a hold up, but baby, you got to make sound decisions. There's been a hold up, but you got to keep on believing when nobody else does. Somebody ought to comment below Satan. Turn it loose. Satan, turn it loose. Turn it loose. Satan, turn that thing loose. Why? Because I'm believing God. When I say, oh, I'm talking to some people who believe in God, baby, listen to me. I, I, I'm talking to some people who believe in God. When I say believe in God, I mean believe in God on a whole nother, 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 You get what I'm saying? On a whole nother, 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 nother level. I'm talking about the level you believe in God for, baby. Sometimes that thing, if it make your tongue get caught up, it, it sounds like you're speaking in tongues and you ain't never spoken tongues a day in your life. You believe in God for something so big it, it calls you to stutter sometimes. I'm believing God on a whole nother, 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 nother level. 
Somebody ought to come in below in big levels on another level. And the big letters are uh, another level. I'm, I'm believing God. And every time I say it, I go to stuttering a little, 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 little stuttering a little bit. Every time I say it, I, I, I oh God, I, I can't believe it myself. I'm talking about some people who believe in God on a whole nother level. Come on, somebody. Who am I speaking to? Believe in God on a level like no other. Believe in God on a, on a different kind of level. Believe in God on, on a level so big. Come on, somebody. It's mind blowing. You're believing God for something and it's unbelievable. Watch this even to you. That's when you know that thing is huge. When it's believe, it's, it's unbelievable even to you. Come on, who am I speaking to? When it's, when it's, when it's so big, it's unbelievable to you. Come on, somebody. Some of you, you're, you're, you're believing God for, for a house and you ain't even got a dime in your pocket. Some of you believe in God for a house and you, you, you still getting assistance from the government on, on Section 8, on, on low income, but you, you still believe in God to pull you up out that mess. Could I, could I talk about it? Could I testify right here? I'm talking about you. You believe in God for something so big. Come on, somebody. You don't even believe it. That's unbelievable faith. Baby, I, I got faith and I don't even believe I got that much faith. Somebody ought to comment below. I got big faith. I got big faith. I got big faith. I'm so unbelievable. People of God, they, they said, come on, somebody, that, that you're going to, that, 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 that you can never have a baby. Maybe there was a cyst on your ovaries. Maybe you was raped as a child. Maybe yeah, it just never happened. Maybe you've been trying and different things like that. And you've, you've tried fraternity. You've spent tens of thousands of dollars and you believe in God for it. But you, you just crazy enough to know that that thing, it might happen. And that unbelievable faith. You still, every time you go shopping in, in Macy's and Burlington and at Walmart, come on, somebody, you go from the women's section and make your way over to the baby section. You walking out of aisle, touching cribs one day in the name of Jesus. You touching pampers, touching the huggies and the loves, laying hands on it. Come on, somebody, one day in the name of Jesus. You picking out pacifiers. Oh, God, I don't know who this is for, but I feel God. You better do something unbelievable like that if you have not done it. You already writing down baby made names and they said it'll never be possible. Some people with some unbelievable faith. Come on, somebody. You got one over and you believe in that God still can do. Oh, God. I just heard the Holy Spirit say that, that this will be a new year of births, spiritual and physical. To that woman who feel like, 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 like she can't have that child or to that husband who's been trying with his wife forever and forever and ever, forever, ever, 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 forever, ever, 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 forever. God said, this is the year that you shall receive. God said, it's happening. You shall conceive it. You shall receive it. Somebody ought to come below, comment below. I'm getting pregnant this year. I ain't talking to the ones who already got a hundred kids and say you don't want no more kids. I'm talking to that woman or that man who just been praying for one. It upsets your spirit every time you turn on the news and you hear somebody did something wrong to that child. You said, God, just give me one. Come on, that's who I'm speaking to on today. I dare you to comment below. Come on, I'm getting pregnant this year. I'm, baby, I'm getting pregnant this year. This is my year. No more delays. No more moving slow. The delay is being detoured. It's happening. Satan, turn it loose. Come on, I believe really quickly. Come in agreement with me. I'm getting pregnant this year. You better not worry about who on this live and worry about who dress, uh, judging you. I'm getting pregnant this year. This is my year, baby. That these legs going to be caught back and I'm going to be in there saying, Push right along with the doctor. You better receive that thing. Come on, somebody. This is the year for you. And I want an invitation to the baby shower. And God said that because it's been delayed so long, he might even get you two. You might get a little run Shanika and a little Regine too. Come on. You know, baby, these days, baby, we be picking these names out for these children, baby. They be so long. I be feeling sorry for the babies. It's going to be a hard, hard, hard spelling. You going to, you uh, spelling it and everything, baby. You getting two. Come on. I can see the gender reveal. You getting two. The delay, it has been detoured. 
Some things have been moving slowly. In the book of Genesis chapter 17, verse 16, uh, God told Abraham, I will bless her and will surely give you a son by her. I will bless her. She will be the mother of the nations. Abraham's wife. Remind you, both of these people was old. You talking in between 90 to 100 years old. Could you imagine God coming to you saying, uh, I'm about to give you a baby. I'm about to make you pregnant. I'm about to uh, uh, finally bless y'all with a child. And y'all in between 90 and 100 years old. I don't even understand, baby. I, come on. Now you got some freaky old people. Who? Could I talk about it? Baby, who? I'm going to be 90, 100 years old, still dropping it, popping it, twerking it, slurping it, and whatever else for my husband. Yeah, I said it. Some of y'all too holy. You right here making love to take me to the king. That's why it ain't working out. Who? Oh, you better keep them or Sister Sarah get them. They don't mind. Can I keep it real? I'm talking about in the churches and all. Yeah. Nobody's perfect. You better do what you got to do for yours. Who? Oh. So Abraham, he gets a word from the Lord in, in the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 17, verse 16, said, I will surely, it's something about when you get the words, surely, I will surely, it says, I will surely make her pregnant. And I'm like, Lord Jesus, they in between 90 and 100, I had to sit and think about it for a moment because y'all know I have to break the, the Bible down to where I understand it. You get what I'm saying? So in between 90 and 60 years old and different things, I mean 90 and 100 years old, and I'm like, you know what, God, they're a little too old to be popping it and locking it. But then I thought about me. Somebody ought to come below. I thought about me. I, I thought about me. I thought about that I'm 38 years old and God, I'm still popping it and locking it, twerking it and working it. So by 100 years old, 90 to 100 years old, I'm probably going to still be doing what I do. I say that to say this, that I don't care about your age. God, he's in control. I don't care about your age. God is going to do something miraculous. I don't care about your age. It's happening. It might have been a little slower than other people that Abraham and Sarah knew. It might have moved a little slower. Than other people that Abraham and Sarah knew. But baby, it's happening. Then it says in Genesis chapter 21, it, 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 it goes to talk about how she conceived and everything like that. And their mind was blown. Matthew chapter 19, verse 26 says, watch this. With people, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. They tell you when you get 40, 50 years old that, you know what? There's no way you're going to uh, end up getting pregnant. The chances of getting pregnant, it's a lot slimmer when you begin to get in your 40s, 50, 60, things like that. With man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. I want you to comment below. It's possible with God. It's possible with God. Satan, turn it loose. John 15 and 7, it says, Abide in me and my words. And whatever you ask for, it will be given to you. Abide in him. Do you trust him? People of God, do you trust him? I am here to decree on this Friday morning that every delay in your life, whether it's your finances, whether it's your joy, whether it's your, your court case. Some of you people of God, you've been going to court for months, for years, and you, 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 you're so afraid because you know you committed the crime. But God is saying he's going to detour it anyway because he gives us mercy even when we don't deserve it. I'm a living evidence and proof of it. I'm a living evidence and proof of it. The delay has been detoured. It's time now for God to move for you. Somebody ought to comment below. Satan, turn it loose. Satan, turn it loose. Satan, you better let it go. Let go my children. Satan, you better turn it loose. You better let go that thing that's pending that I need a, a proof. Satan, you better turn it loose. You better let go of my relationship. Satan, you better turn that thing loose. You better let go of my child that's out in the streets that I'm praying for. Satan, you better turn it loose. Let go of my family member that's fighting for their life in the hospital. Satan, you better turn it loose. Let, let go of my ovaries. Come on, trying to conceive. Satan, you better turn it loose. Let go of my home. Let go of my car. Let go of the things that are impossible. That I'm still believing God for. Satan turn it loose. 
when you when you when you when you're down and out and you you don't feel like praying because you have those days when you don't want to go to church and when you don't want to go to pray and you don't want to do things but baby you better shake life I always say that to my friends. Y'all better you, you better get it together because the way God gave it to you, He can take it back. You gotta give Him what He deserves. Say and turn it loose. Turn loose my relationship with God. Make me fall in love with Him again. Where I place Him first. Where He becomes the most important thing in my life. Come on, people of God. I'm not on here just to be talking. It's cold in Texas. And I'm sitting in a car ministering to you. Because I want to uplift you. I want to encourage you. I want to inspire you. I want to motivate you. I want to remind you that God still has time to do it. And he going to come through. When your friends can't come through, he come through. When the pastor can't come through, he come through. When the person you laying up with and sleeping with every night can't come through, he comes through. Satan turn it loose. The delay, it has been detoured, people of God, very quickly. I want to listen and let me say this because I, I see all kind of people they make fake pages and they come on my lives coming and why do you ask for a seed and everything when you speak it baby you ain't got a soul what make my ministry different from other people's ministry is I always tell people, be led to sow. I'm the same people who would sit on my life and listen to the whole word and it inspired them but got something to judge. People always judge don't let nobody detour you for your blessing from your blessing right now people of god come on the seed i want you to sow right now go quickly go quickly it's 24 dollars some of you are going to sow 24 dollars some of you people of god are going to sow 124 dollars some of you are going to sow 50 dollars and 24 cents some of you are come on so so 224 dollars but i want you quickly to go and to sow the information is pinned to the bottom i don't want you to leave off this live and you know there's some things that's been delayed in your life long enough and i i don't want you to leave off this live come on somebody and you know that you're still believing god for something and he's telling you you gotta put a seed in the ground be led to sow and watch this in the memo section i want you to put that the delay is over you got to be specific the delay is over people of god god did something so big for me i want to say three months ago and i still have not released that testimony because god told me not to use wisdom not everybody can handle it but when i tell you the story on the delay that happened i'm talking about that delay was so serious i almost gave up on god do you hear what i'm talking about the type of delays where you pray for it to happen for everybody else and for some reason when it come to you it, it's taking a little longer come on somebody that thing almost took me out but then god came through times too he just was testing my faith satan turn it loose some of you, it's your healing. Come on, come on, very quickly. The seed amount is $24 or $124. I want you to put in the memo section, the delay, it's over. Come on, it's a lot of people showing right now. Be led to show. Turn it loose. You can even put in the memo section, turn it loose. Whatever you have been believing God for, I am believing God to move like no other. The delay, people of God, is over. Come on, I want to call out some names. Denisha M. Dotson, thank you for your seed. Cherry McQueen, thank you for your seed. Lene Williams, thank you for your seed. Latora Scott, thank you for your seed. Shaniqua James, thank you for your seed. Come on, very quickly, people of God. Place your seed in the ground. The delay is over, Shay Red, and I know the delay is over for you. I know your testimony, Queen. I love you, sis. The delay is over. Come on. I'm talking to a few people right now. Terry Mitchell, thank you for your seed through Chime. It just came through. Neil McCray, thank you for your seed. I just got the uh, uh, seed right now. Thank you, people of God. Yes. Cash App Chime and Zell. It's 754-246-0580. PayPal is Shakira McFadden with two N's at AOL.com. The delay has been detoured. The very thing that has been moving slowly in your life. I'm believing God to turn it all around. The seed amount is $24 or $124. Or some of you going to sow $30.24. But I'm believing that we have to put a seed in good ground. Some of you are saying evangelists, I don't got it to give. God know your heart. May he bless you just for tagging and sharing. 
But some of you people of God, you know that God is saying, put a seed in the ground. This is the answer. She, she just, she just installed a life changing in word in you that is about to shift the atmosphere. The delay is over. Come on. I'm going to read some more. Tamika Mitchell. I have your seed. Lanier Mc, McClare. I'm sorry. It, it went by fast. But I have your seed. Whoever her name is Lanier, I have your seed. Markeisha Williams, I have your seed. Yes. I have your seed. People of God, listen. I don't want to pump you. I don't want to prime you. I don't want to push you. Be led by God only to give. Brittany Scott, I have your seed. God is he's he's doing some things that are amazing in this season. I love you guys. And today, if you are just now tuning in, today's message is the delay has been detoured. I decree and declare that there will be no more delays in your life. I decree and declare that everything the enemy has held up. Come on, who am I speaking to? He, he, he has to release it. He has to turn it loose, Katrina Walker. He has to turn it loose, Brianna Buford. He has to turn that thing loose. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't care if it's your peace. I don't care if it's your identity back. I don't care if it's your joy back. He has to turn it loose. He got to let it go. I don't care if it's your relationship. I don't care if it's, it's that house you wanted. And they saying your credit score ain't, ain't adding up with what you talking about. Or they saying your, your bank account ain't looking like what they need down. Come on. I ain't saying turn it loose. Satan. The, the, the April Fisher, thank you for your seed. Come on. I'm saying loose it. I'm talking about the generational curses that is on you and your children. I'm saying let it go. As they begin to sow, God, do something life-changing. Do something big. Do something miraculous. Let it go. The enemy has to let it go. Every hold-up, Kalada Lampley. The enemy is letting it go. With age comes wisdom. The enemy is letting it go. Come on. I'm in a, a, a agreement with you. Loose it. There are a lot of seeds being sown. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Loose it. In this season. I love you guys. God bless you guys. The delay, it's being detoured.